Hi guys, it's Danielle here, back with another vlog. And today we're going to Chicago. I still have it unpacked from Hawaii or Florida. But there's Talene. Um, it's a girls' trip to go to the Vampire Diaries convention. Um, Ian dropped out, so that sucks. But Paul's still gonna be there. I wish I was Team Stefan, but I'm Team e Team, team Ian. Well, team Damon. Team Stefan now since he didn't back out. But yeah, I guess I'm low-key gonna have to stop being Ian Stan because he wanted to back out. So freak him, even though I still love him. Don't say freak him. Because you know if you saw him walking down the street, you'd jump on him and freak the hell out. Look at my mom right now with a towel on her head. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, my face is still peeling. My hair looks like a wig because it's Me like too. newly dyed. But I am going to go and take a quick little body shower before the plane because i don't like going on planes if i haven't showered so yeah 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 also my nails look so <laughs> hi guys so we're putting our stuff in the trunk and i ordered a bunch of masks for this weekend and they didn't come but the amazon lady just got here wait is that the right package oh it's flashing the whole vlog <laughs> now i'm gonna have to wear this ugly freaking clear mask well Oh my god. Why? 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 I thought it was my mask. I was like, oh my god, yay. I'm gonna have a cute mask to wear, but no. No. Ugh. I was up all night crying last night. So I'm really tired. And I'm literally bleeding. Oh my god. And my skin is still peeling from Hawaii. So that's great. But well, I'll see you guys at the airport, oh you know? Oh my god, guys. Okay, so we're literally at the airport and we're in like two tunnels away from where we're supposed to be. Our flight was in 30 minutes. Oh my god. Oh my god. And, um, yeah. I don't... We don't know. I don't know if we're gonna make it, but hopefully... Not. Hopefully we do. So I'll see um, you soon. Love you guys. So we got snacks. We're we eating snacks. First yeah. of all. We made it. And we actually got here a lot early. We have like eight minutes until we board board the last boarding group, so we're good. So we're doing pretty good. My nose is freaking flipped. But we will see you guys on the plane. Mm. Um, okay guys, so we're on the plane. <laughs> oh, this is scary. Sanitizing. <laughs> Where the heck did my wife go? Oh. Oh my god. Tell me. Oh wait. Fanny. I will keep her going. Okay, well, I'll see you guys later. Um, okay guys, so update. The flight attendant let us move for my mom was sitting. So now we get to sit with someone we know instead of a random person. But we're literally in the last row on this flight. We literally booked our tickets yesterday, so this is all we could get. But yeah. Ooh, Chicago. Ooh. There we are. There's the window. Um, but yeah, there's a baby crying like crazy. And it's very, very annoying.
naked baby over there changing its time. It's, it's literally naked. And they're doing it in front of everyone. Like, what? You know, like, on a plane. In front what? of people. A lot of people. And then there's this baby sitting in front of us. It's asleep now, but it would not shut up. And it was literally dead staring at us. It was just sitting like this. Like, sitting on this thing. because we wanted canes and we got to canes and they were closed they were like we had to close early tonight because of like staff reasons so we we're like oh okay and the only thing open was either mcdonald's or wendy's and we we're like oh fine like whatever like we'll just go to wendy's because low-key mcdonald's a lot i'm not even gonna lie but um yeah so that's what we're doing now um we Definitely got scammed by this Uber. Yeah. Or whatever the heck he not was. Uber, taxi man. Yeah. Hey, come on, taxi man. Taxi because, man. so we were waiting for an Uber. We didn't order it yet. We like just got out of the plane and he was like, he's like, oh, do you guys want an Uber? And we are like, Uber oh, taxi, yeah. I <laughs> and I was scared. I thought we were getting kidnapped. Me too. And we got a car. And he drove us 15 minutes. And then he asked us, us we are gonna Ask overeat. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna overeat. But then he goes, oh, do you guys want me to stop to get you guys food? So we're like, oh, yeah, like, sure. And, and a $45 thing for a five minute down the street. And we are two minutes from our hotel, literally two minutes, literally straight down. And he brings us there. And an Uber was 30 bucks just because it was only a 15 minute drive. Even to add a stop, it was literally like 35 bucks. And so we were like, okay, this bitch charged us a hundred and what? Forty-five. Forty-five dollars. He scammed us. Uh, hi guys. Good morning. We literally woke up five minutes ago, and yay. we're going to go get um tights, shampoo, and a uh, COVID test. COVID test. Everywhere is on a COVID test, so we need an Uber and get some because we can't get in the convention without taking a COVID test in front of us. Even though. And literally everyone is freaking up and it's like 10 a.m. But for we us it's crazy. like 7 a.m. And crazy. I'm literally in shorts. <laughs> and it's like 50 degrees. Oh my God. But yeah, I'll see you soon. We're eating. We're waiting for pizza, but we got like an appetizer. Where are we at? Gio. Gio Dorno. Gio. Gio. I can't Gio Danos. Dano. Gio Dornos or something. Like, if you're from Chicago, and we're pronouncing this wrong, I'm so sorry. But <laughs> I just I just don't know what it's called. But not even gonna lie, this Dr. Pepper does not taste good. But other than that, the food's really good. Gio Danos. Is that how you say it? Gio Dorno. Gio Dorno. Gio Danos. <laughs> Gio <Danny's. laughs> Gio Danny's. That's actually Danny's. funny. I my first kiss was a boy named Gio. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Gio Danny's. Gio Danny. That'd be funny. But yeah. Cupid. Cupid. You know. Cupid. Hopefully, I don't get copyrighted. Oh. My mom doesn't like my island. I did, I did not say that. I did not say that. <laughs> I said, I, think, you I think you need more eyeshadow. That's all I said. She told me I can't wear eyeliner with no eyeshadow. Yeah, but I, I said, yes, I can. And I did it anyway. You do whatever you want anyways. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. It looks good. I think it looks good. <laughs> oh. So I found out that they don't want to let us take our phones in, and if they do that to me, I'm literally going to throw a fit because I paid don't a lot of money, money for this, and they already took out the guy who I wanted to see, and I'm going to be so pissed. 
Oh, and then the second person you wanted to see. Jeremy. Jeremy's out? Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. Jeremy is so, like, fine in the show. Like, in, like, the third season. Why did he do that? <laughs> wow. Okay, well, we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you when we get a pizza. Hey guys, so we're gonna do a taste test. It's wow. kind of dark in here, so if you guys are like, I can't see. Okay, we're gonna taste it. I don't know how people eat this without a fork. <laughs> oh my god, I was about to cut like this. Parmesan and red pepper. I'll be right back. Oh, thank you. That's so cheesy. Literally so cheesy. Mm. That's so good. Literally so good. Thank you. But we're gonna eat. I'll be back. Negative. Hers came back negative, it's and now Talene's is just waiting on hers. I sneeze so I much. I know, it looks like a plus sign. <laughs> okay, so far I only see one line, so... Yeah. Give it about five more minutes, and we'll be good to go. <sighs> Boys, we're at the auction, so, and if funny. someone does something for Damon, I will bid a thousand dollars. I'm running low on banners. <laughs> I'm running low on stuff. Absolutely. Actually, before we do that banner, so people are bidding four hundred bucks on that. More, like, more merchandise. <laughs> Nine p.m. Nine p.m. All right, so please come and join us. We're gonna have Mercy Mo playing. Chris Brochu is gonna play. And we got Michael Malarkey playing a few songs as well. So you're going to want to come and hang out. But before all that, without any further ado, please get on your feet. Welcome to the stage, Daniel Gillies. question. Hit me. Hi, my name is Madison, and I want to ask, what is your favorite Ladies season? and gentlemen, Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you are, but I'm just gonna uh, I want to know, what is your favorite scene from the originals? Can I have some help? What's your favorite scene from the originals? Favorite, favorite scene in the film. Thank you, sir, with a very clear, <laughs> resounding sound. Um, I, uh, my, my favorite scene to do? Yes. Uh, in the originals. Um, I've answered this before, but um, I, I do remember doing a scene with uh, Phoebe Tonkin. You can, yeah. Um, and I thought, she's so shitty, she's making me look terrific. <laughs> not true, not true. She was actually very, she was very good. We, we, we did a scene, I think, after Jackson had died and we were sitting down in the kitchen together and we cut a bunch of our lines and made it much clearer, and it was, it was just a very silent... Uh, I, I think I've answered this before, I'm sorry if you guys are re hearing retreaded, old, discarded answers, but I, I, the... Um, Julie Plett wrote an interesting line, and um, I think it was in The Vampire Diaries, and Elijah Michelson says to Rebecca, he says, uh, Mother didn't make us monsters, we did that to ourselves. I like that line. Or I also, there was a line I came up with that um, for, uh, uh, I think it was the first episode of the originals actually, and I said to, uh, Klaus says to Elijah, um, oh, he, Elijah appears out of nowhere to Klaus, and uh, Klaus says, oh, what an entirely unwelcome surprise, meaning Elijah's turned up. And then I came up with the line, and what an un entirely unsurprising welcome. Which I, thought was, I thought that was a good line. Took some fighting. Um, 
Okay, guys, so we're about to go and get our autograph with Daniel, they said. Oh, oh my god, there's 10 to meet us for our autograph session. Freaking out? He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, um, yeah, we're about to go meet him. Yay. And they don't let you take your phones. Um, okay, so we met him. I snuck a video. <laughs> but anyways, um, he signed our things. He called me sweetheart. He called me love. And he said cheers. Yeah, he said cheers. So cute. Um, I was gonna be like, can we sneak a picture? But he was really, really nice. Yeah, he's really nice. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Let's go over there. <laughs> and let's look at Michael Trevino. Or, I wanted to meet him, but his thing was showed out. <laughs> okay, I got my photo. It's so cute. <laughs> <I'm so laughs> and that's Enzo from Vampire Diaries. It's good. It has Okay, so we're eating at your house. I got fresh and soup. And the singer's popcorn and she goes salad. Because Tulane is not food. But it's okay because it's not cold. Because we took COVID since today. So that's okay. It's not cold. But fresh is good. How's that soup? It's so good, but it's so hot. This is a little bit of paper soup. Okay, so we're going to remove. So it's was literally having like a party. Like I don't know if you guys can hear it down there, but crazy. there's literally people everywhere. It's so weird. But it's really pretty. But yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's so loud in here. Oh my gosh. Uh, almost uh, two years. Or, yeah. How do you like? It? I feel great. Yeah. Yeah. Do you miss hamburgers? No, I didn't eat hamburgers for over 11 years. You didn't? No, Jesus. no. I haven't eaten beef or pork. I was eating some fish and chicken. And really? Stuff. Yeah. That's the secret. That's why you're so goddamn skinny. I mean... That's why I'm a big fat ass. I like well, let's, let's put it this way. When I got in last night, I went to the hotel and they didn't... I, all I can eat is french fries because half the shit is all cheese or this. So it's not like I'm eating, you know, green beans all day. Like, I still eat junk food. That's the thing. <laughs> You can be a very unhealthy <laughs> vegan. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's good to know. I, that makes it exciting. <laughs> I met in the season finale. Yeah. I met in the season finale. Oh. Series finale, sorry. Yeah, I don't know. Like, don't uh, oh my gosh, guys. So we met Paul. He's um, so nice. Yeah, he's so sweet. But he's anyways, so um, he said that he wasn't going to take his mask off and he was standing by the pixie glass. So we kept our mask on because we didn't want to take it off because okay, obviously we respect, yeah. we respect his decision. He was like that. Yeah, yeah, he was allowing people to take their mask off, but we were like, no, like we're just gonna keep ours on because yeah. we want to respect him and like he's very cautious. Right now. So we kept ours on, so our pictures are with masks, but it's okay. Yeah, that is so cute. So we'll I'm live with like it. it. But he was really sweet, so it was yes. nice. I'm sorry. Um, I was wondering what your like thoughts and feelings were on their relationship. Man, can we talk about it? Yes. Because I'm conflicted. I really saw like the sparks in the beginning. Y'all remember like the, the, the yes. Sweet 16, right? The dance, the suit, her walking down the steps. And then we get to get into all of those like deeper levels of each other's personalities, the issues that everyone's dealing with. And then we deal with all the monster fighting and all that stuff and like I see them maturing as individuals and so I thought it was really cool that the writers thought to like have them handle that yet still acknowledge that they like each other because if they do end up getting together you know after everything that we've been Okay guys, so we just met Quincy, Matt, and Jody, and I have to say, on the panel, I was like, they are so flirty with each other, so like, it is so cute, they're literally in love, and then during the meetup, they were so busy flirting with each other, <laughs> that they didn't even realize, we came up to take our picture, and they didn't even realize we were there, they were like, oh, sorry, yeah, like, they're so cute, they're literally away. a couple. 
Yeah. They should really just get married in real life. Yeah. yeah. They're, They're really very cute. cute. Very, very cute. But now we're waiting for Marcel. He's literally our last one. So we're just waiting for his panel and then we're gonna go meet him and then we'll be done. The convention's over. It's crazy. Yeah. It's been a pretty good time. But Quincy was really nice. Quincy was Loved really nice. Him. Yeah. Yeah, well, nice. That was Michael Davis. That can kill an original. Um, let's see. Well, it was really exciting. I think, you know, my character really wanted to become a vampire. He begged. Ooh, this looks so good. Okay, guys, so we got noodles and company. I freaking love noodles and company, so I am very, very excited to eat this. This is my first time trying it. This should be, this looks so good. If you have a noodles and company by you, try the Rice Krispies. Yeah, they really the world is a vampire. Oh, yeah. And this is how do you know this is it? Oh my god, are you nervous? <laughs> I've never done this before. Alright, hold on, hold on. Do you have a preference? <laughs> it's her. Oh my god! It's a boy. It's a boy. All right, right. For a boy. What do you guys say? We got a 50 50 chance of getting it right. Okay, here we go. This is crazy stuff. All right, so <clears throat> do you. Uh, what do you. What do you. What do you think? If you had to take a guess. What do you think the gender of your baby is? Did you say a boy? Well, you're right. <laughs> it's a boy. Congratulations to our to our child. I have a son. So, congratulations. You guessed correctly. Mother's maternal instinct. Isn't that crazy? I mean, I guess she had a 50% chance, but she sensed it was a boy. Hey, that's really cool. Wait, don't go yet. Um, what are we gonna name him? What? Paul? Honestly, it's a great name. I, I think he'll be happy. Is Paul? Your boyfriend's dad made you that shirt? Sorry? Your boyfriend made you that shirt? That's really funny. Well, at least he has a good sense of humor. Okay, guys, so the convention is over and that concludes our little vlog. But before we go, we're going to show you guys our pic pictures that we took. Um, so first things first, this is my favorite one except for me because the person so it'd be so dirty because they only let you take one picture and if it's bad, they don't care. And they got me like mid pose while I was like posing and I literally had like a double chin in it. It's just, I like disgusting in it, but he was blowing me a kiss. And it was so cute. And, and how then, you fangirled over him. Yeah, I love you fangirl over him a little bit. Just cause he's like really good looking. Um, then we have Paul. Paul is literally so sweet. Literally the sweetest person ever. And I love him. He's like one of my favorite. Um, and then we have Joe and a lark. They were really, really nice. Um, they are meant to be together. You guys heard our little like thing about <laughs> earlier. And then we have Quincy. Quincy, that's Quincy. Quincy. I was saying it like queasy earlier, so I made sure I said it right. Quincy. He was very, very sweet. He was super funny. Turns out Tilly knows him. Yeah. I like knew I saw him somewhere before and he lives in LA and he like knows some people that we know, so you yeah. Know. Yeah. But that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed our little Vampire Diaries vlog. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tap the bell, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!